everyone, uh, my name is Jeanette O'Neill. Um, I wanted to just film a quick little intro for this video just to give some like background on what's happening in the video. Um, so we are stationed overseas on RAF Mildenhall um, and we chose to, well not that we chose, but the wait list to get on base is very long. Uh, we currently live on base now, um, but we lived in our first home in Red Lodge from September 2019 to September 2020. So I just wanted to share this video for memories purposes and also just to be sort of informative and give people kind of like an inside look on what to expect for housing. Um, so my husband, he was, well currently still is, about to uh, promote to E4, but while we lived off base, um, he was at E3. E3, my bad. Um, and at the time when we first got here, uh, OHA was 1100, I want to say. Um, 1100 uh, for that rank, I believe. Anyway, so <laughs> um, we paid 990 pounds a month for this home and we lived there for a year until we got um, offered housing on. RAF Lake and Heath, Liberty Village. So I hope this video is somewhat helpful to any of you. I'm not trying to like make this a whole Air Force channel, but yeah, just wanna um, quickly just make a little intro, explain what's going on, maybe so my family could look at this and you know, I never got to share my life here since COVID and everything happened. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna stop talking and here's the video. Okay, so I lied. Um, I want to disclose one more thing about this video. I don't know if I said it in the video or not, but um, it was a three bedroom, two and a half bath. I'm like, I'm like trying to remember. This was not that long ago, Jeanette, okay? Uh, but yeah, three bedroom, two and a half bath, 990 pounds a month. It was about 10, 15 minutes from base, depending on traffic. Um, yeah, it was pretty close, and uh, yeah, let's just get into this once again. So I'm going to do a little small tour of our first house here in England. We've already moved out of it, so it's empty, as you can see. But uh, here's the front door. It doesn't have like a little knob, it just has this little thing, which is a little weird, but it is what it is. Okay, walking in. Got a little light switch, a radiator, door lock, door hinge, um, mail thingy. <laughs> This is called a water closet. AKA half bath. Kitchen. Washer, dishwasher, fridge freezer, another radiator, they like those here, lights, Okay, now we're gonna go into the living room. This is the internet socket right here, British plugs. Um, this is for the radiators to turn them on. This is the living room. Double French doors to go out to the backyard.
little electric fireplace, another radiator, I hope I'm depicting the size of the house right because I'm recording it sideways. This is like a little underneath stairs storage type situation. And it has the, uh, this is the breaker type thing. And then it has a meter for the electricity. And then it has like, little storage rail right there if you want to put coats or something all right oh and every single room in british houses have doors so you can shut the door in the living room if you want to <laughs> uh yeah i don't know that's how they do it here going up the stairs Say hi. He's eating. Hi. So we got the stairway right here, little rail, stairs. This is one of the bathrooms. Sink, toilet, um, window. Another mirror. They're really tiny here. <laughs> Bathtub. Okay. And then to turn on the fans in here, they're all the way up here. So I, I always have to jump to turn it on. Yes, thank you for the uh, <laughs> example. Oh, one bedroom. They're very small, that's how much. I have to back up just to show you the whole room because that's how small they are. This was our guest bedroom. Yes. We never knew what to do with this. We just kind of put whatever in here. We had guests one time. Another radiator, <clears throat> every room has one. They have these like fabric blind things. Another window, you can see outside if you want to. Oh my gosh, I just touched the window with my fingerprints. Well, <laughs> it is what it is. I just got the house professionally cleaned and I just realized that I touched the glass. Oh, well, it is what it is. All right, going into, this was our master bedroom. <laughs> master, it's very small with an ensuite. The biggest room in the whole house. These were our tiny little closets. So I made Anthony have this one because <laughs> the door closes right onto it. And you guys would not believe the size of these closets. Look at that. That's what we were working with for a whole year. Yeah. <laughs> um, Little lampshade that came with the house. I changed those out while we were living here, but we had to put back the old ones. Um, another closet, same size. Very, very tiny, as you can see. And then, this is overlooking our backyard, other houses. People can kind of look into your yard. Kind of weird, but whatever. And then this garage right here is where we had our car. So it's really nice that we actually had a garage here because it's actually kind of rare to find that. So, ensuite, bathroom, <laughs> ensuite. Yeah, it's very tiny, very tiny. Uh, shower. It's like a cubicle size, it's very small sink, radiator, towel rail, toilet, um, toilet roll holder, and another window. I had like this little roll down fabric thing, but I never use that. Um, this is to uh, humidifier thing, I guess, in the bathroom, the fan. 
Um, then they got the ceiling light and another mirror. So we're almost done. This is to turn on the fan in the bathroom. Yep, you guys get the point. So I'm gonna go into the very last room and it's this little tiny room right here. I had our dryer in here, so yeah. Honestly, we never knew what to do with this room. We kind of just turned it into a closet. So I put like one clothes rail, the clothes rail here, and then another right here. And I can't turn the light on right now because the light bulb's out. So, <laughs> which we need to get because we're responsible for those. Ugh. Well, there you have it. That's the house, and I'm gonna miss it so much. It was our very first house, so I'm a little sentimental about it. But yeah, how do you feel? Yeah, I'm a little sentimental. I kind of miss it a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I'm so glad we're not in this small house anymore. I agree. <clears throat> but yeah. we did have some good times. Mm -hmm. This is our first house as a married couple, and I just want to record it just for memories, I guess. Oh, and I forgot to show this, too. This is a water heater closet thing. I have to, like, step all the way back just to show you. Yep. All right. Well, there you have it. Well, actually, there's this little attic. We never went up there. I don't like to go up there. It's creepy. <laughs> but yeah, we that's it. Can never reach it. That's the house. Goodbye. All right, so I know that wasn't the best quality, but um, give me a break. This is my first YouTube video. <laughs> um, and I'm filming all of this on my iPhone 11. So um, I do want to make more videos on this channel in the future. Just traveling um what my life is like here in, in england um i really love it here honestly i i love it so much now if it wasn't for covid uh quality of life would be better here but of course the whole world is going through this right now um this is a long time coming i should have uploaded this months ago but um here i am now <laughs> if you guys have any questions um about anything that has to do with England, uh, just leave a comment down below. I'll respond to you, um, interact with you all. I'm acting like this is some big YouTube channel. But yeah, if you have any questions about off-base housing, on-base housing, I currently live on base on Liberty Village, let me know, drop a comment, I'll respond to you. Um, so thanks for watching and uh, have a good day.